Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can color a full music video from beginning to end. I have this Ty Fontaine music video I shot a couple years ago, opened up in the timeline, and every single one of these clips here is completely raw, completely flat, and all of my other music video coloring tutorials before have just been coloring individual clips, and I want to show you guys how I would do it on a full project here, and hopefully you guys can take my workflow and implement it into your own projects as well, because a lot of people have confusion when it comes to color grading music videos. Before we hop into this, I have to shut up my website. Over on there, there are a ton of easy to use super fire editing packs that you guys can download and use on your projects we have packs like fast movement effects that allow you to instantly add hits shakes and wipes in literally two seconds and they look so fire alongside a bunch of other crazy packs as well so go check those out but we're gonna get started on this now so what i like to do before i color at all is i sequence all of my clips to the audio of the song here and they are all perfectly sequenced after I do that, I uh, like to turn on this keyboard shortcut if you don't have it on already. It allows you to hit the E button and whatever clip you're selected on, it turns it on or off. You could do that by going up here, clicking on Premiere Pro, going over to keyboard shortcuts, and then you just have to search enable here and you'll see it right here. Just click on it and then hit E and then hit OK. And then you will have that on or off. Super important when it comes to uh, this color grading workflow. Now we're going to go into project here in the top right. We're going to right click. We're going to create a new item and we're going to create an adjustment layer here and we're going to hit OK on that. We're then going to drag the adjustment layer into our project and extend it over every single one of our clips here. So now what we want to do is go to our first clip here and look for a hero frame, which is a really good uh, up close shot of our artist's face. Like this would work here as a hero frame. And I'm just going to readjust my workspace for color grading just so we could see more of the video here and have it a lot bigger because we really don't need all this time on space right now. So now that we have this set up here, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my adjustment layer here. I'm then going to go up here and click on Lumetric Color. If you guys don't have Lumetric Color in a tab and you have to search it in effects every time, I recommend going up to Window here, then going down to Lumetric Color and just clicking on it, and then you can drag it into your tab just so it's a lot easier to access. Then we're going to go into Creative right here, and then we're going to hit Look, hit None, and then hit Browse. And this is where LUTs come into play. I'm gonna be using my ultimate LUT pack that's available on my website. I highly recommend it. It has over 285 plus unique, fully customizable LUTs. You guys can download any kind of LUTs for free on the internet. Just go on YouTube and search free music video LUTs or free LUTs for any of the style you're going for, and you'll get a ton of them for free. Whatever LUT you guys are using, you can still follow along with this tutorial. I guarantee you guys, but we're just gonna be using my ultimate LUT pack here because it's super easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on a completely random LUT. Let's go with uh, 139 here and we get this darkened out cool look. We get the super clean aesthetic film look. And what we're going to do next is we're going to go into basic correction now and we're going to customize this to look fire. So I'm going to go ahead and turn up the shadows, turn up the contrast, and then I'm going to turn up the whites, turn down the blacks, turn up the exposure a tad, turn up the contrast a little bit more. And then we're going to turn the oranges up, the greens down, contrast up. And we have something like this. I'm going to go ahead and turn up the saturation here. Maybe turn the greens down a little bit. And boom, I think that looks great there on this clip. Now, I love the film look. So I'm going to go ahead and add a film grain. Over on my website as well, I have a film look pack, which has this exact film grain in it, if you guys want to check it out. When I add my film grain, I add it on top of my adjustment layer. And a lot of them aren't going to be the same size. So I recommend scaling down to see if you can resize it and then just set it to overlay. And then holding option, I'm just clicking and dragging Alt on Windows. And we're just going to highlight these and duplicate them across the rest of the song here. And boom, we have a super fire. Now, what a lot of people don't know about color grading, which I'm going to put you guys onto now, is you don't have to just use one LUT. I'm going to go ahead and drag in another adjustment layer here. And we're going to pick another completely random LUT from our LUT pack. So let's go with uh, 274. And this looks a little crazy, but trust me, guys, we're going to go ahead and turn down the intensity to about like 47 and then turn down the intensity on this one here as well. And what that's doing is it's combining these two LUTs into one and you can get some really unique looks just by doing that. So now what I'd like to do hypothetically, let's say we get the perfect color grade, which you want to spend a lot more time on this, just customizing the controls and basic correction. Exposure is going to control the brightness of everything like the shadows, the highlights, the midtones everything contrast is just going to control like the darker areas is going to make it more dark highlights is the brighter areas you can see like this these areas here it's going to make them brighter if you turn them up 
Shadows is gonna control the shadows. Whites is gonna control everything that's pretty much brighter. And then blacks is gonna control everything that's pretty much darker here. So just keep that in mind while you go through and color. Now, what I'd like to do, we have the first clip colored and you guys can see we have a ton more here. I'm just hitting command and scrolling to show all these. So what I'd like to do next is I turn this one off by hitting E. And how is it looking? See, it's looking a little bit crazy. It's not matching this aesthetic here. So what I'll do is I'll turn this one off, go into this one, and I'm like, okay, well, if we look at this clip right here, we gotta kinda smash it. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the greens down, turn the oranges up, turn the contrast up, turn the shadows down, turn the whites up, turn the highlights up. I feel like this needs a little bit less saturation here. And boom, I think that's a good match there, guys. Then we're gonna hit E, move on to the next one. And you basically just want to go ahead and do this for all of your clips here. And you guys can see we're getting a nice little match. So this one looks like it has a little bit more orange than this one. So I'll go and I'll turn the orange up. And then boom, you guys can see. Pretty cool. You just want to go through and do that for the rest of them. And boom, that's how I color grade a music video. I always color grade before I start cutting. Because boom, when you start cutting your music video now, it's already pre-colored with the adjustment layers. And if you ever want to change them, you just click on the clip and change them through here. And the adjustment layer has almost all the original tweaks on it. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video and want to go download the Ultimate Let Pack, it'll be linked below. You guys can use code 15 off to save yourself 15% off. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video tomorrow. Peace.